Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the new story event that has come to DBZ Doka Metal Global in the form of the Path to Power event. Now this event is entirely based off of the movie The Path to Power which is a great movie by the way if you haven't seen it it's a Dragon Ball movie and it's awesome. Uh, I love Dragon Ball. A lot of people who uh, started watching Dragon Ball Z will love Dragon Ball so you should really give it a try but yeah basically uh, this is the path to power event and the main purpose of it is to get a new free-to-play Yamcha uh, which is pretty cool I've always liked Yamcha one of my original favorite characters uh, in the series in general I think he's really badass and yeah uh, well was badass uh, yeah, it's still pretty cool. But anyway, um, basically, the event is pretty straightforward. There's five stages. Uh, you will farm Yamcha from one of the stages. You will get his Awakening Medals from the other. Uh, and the bonus category is DB Saga, which should be fairly straightforward. So, that's it. Um, nothing too crazy, honestly. Um, I think there's really nothing more to kind of mention. If you are looking to farm Yamcha, uh, yeah, for those of you who maybe don't know, uh, in terms of like just generic farming rules, you're going to want to farm him 14 times. So you're going to want to farm him 10 times uh, so that you can max his SA, and then you're going to want to farm him another four times to unlock his hidden potential system. He starts as an SSR, so he's a fantastic unit to use to raise the super attack level of other Yamcha units, which is always a bonus, uh, if you ask me. And yeah, beyond that, there's really, really uh, nothing else that you need to know. Uh, so let's talk about Yamcha and let's talk about this event. So there's five stages, two difficulties per stage. Uh, you can obviously, as always, do the difficulty separately or you can do the higher difficulty and get both stones so that's something that's worth uh, your value and of course you can use Oolong or you can use GT, uh, Bulla and Vegeta to get uh, some additional team bonus for each stage so yeah pretty pretty good stuff I think honestly uh, I like events like this I think they're great it's honestly a great way to just experience a little bit of the story of the Dragon Ball uh, series uh, if you want to see like a bit of the story you just switch scenario on before you start the stage and then you should be pretty good to go uh, the second stage is important because it's the stage where you'll farm uh, the copies of Yamcha now the drop rate is going to be affected by the team bonus team bonus is increased uh, by the amount of high rarity characters you have on your team so the more allies that you have, the better a time you're going to have, quite frankly. But yeah, it's not too crazy. Um, I think for the most part, players will be able to farm Yamcha pretty quickly. It took me a little bit of time, uh, but I did get you know, pretty bad luck. But you know, personally speaking, uh, I think he looks really, really good. Um, and yeah, I, I think he's... He's a pretty interesting unit for me, uh, at least as an option. Obviously, you know, whenever you talk about free-to-play units, how useful they are has its limits. Like, not every uh, unit is super duper useful or anything like that. But I think Yamcha uh, could be a nice free-to-play option, especially to augment your DB Saga team which I think is really really solid uh, overall so yeah uh, that's the second stage super important then the third stage not so important you don't need to specifically farm anything from this stage uh, at this point you can add Yamcha to your team if you want to uh, it will help you out it will just make things a little bit easier uh, but if you don't want to add Yamcha uh, then you can just wait and obviously finish farming him up and then proceed onwards. Uh, Yamcha himself as a unit is pretty good. Uh, he's a DB Saga lead of 50%. He raises attack on his super attack for one turn. 
He has attack and defense of 150% plus an additional attack and defense of 100% when performing a super attack. He gives super class allies key plus one, attack and defense of 20%. If there's a Pepe Girls category ally on the team, he gets an additional defense of 100% and starting from the fifth turn from the start of the battle, you'll have an additional key plus one and attack and defense for 20% for super class allies. And you will launch an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack. So, yeah. Yamcha, pretty interesting kit, obviously, uh, because he needs a Pepe Girls unit. Probably going to have to run some kind of Bulma uh, or, you know, any Pepe Girls unit you can. Um, right, yeah, like, basically. Uh, so, could be pretty interesting, uh, I think, personally, to see where he ends up. Obviously, he'll get an easier in future, just not right now. But yeah, I think for the most part, um, it will be pretty interesting to see how, like, Yamcha does. Like, how will Yamcha, you know, age? You know, how will he do, I think, him requiring a Pepe Girls unit? Tiny bit limiting, uh, like a tiny bit. Just because it, you know, it means he can only really run on the DB Saga or maybe a movie Heroes. I guess Worthy Rivals technically has Android 18, I think. So that works, I guess. But yeah, um, it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty much a little bit of a limiting factor on Yamcha. But hey, you know this like this happens. Uh, very often characters have these little limiting factors that you have to kind of facilitate or um, you know anticipate when you're running like your team or building your team and that's okay you know it's just part of the process it's not anything we can change or need to change it's just part of the journey but yeah uh, the event is pretty straightforward I don't think people will struggle with this event too much. I think most people should be relatively like relatively like comfortable with doing story events. You know, I don't think the process is ever strictly complicated and or, or you know ever strictly like something that's too complex for players to understand. And yeah, I think at the end of the day, like, events like this are great ways to get stones. Uh, you know, 13 stones in total from the event, which is pretty good, if you ask me. Like, 13 stones for a very chilled event is always nice to get. It's a pretty easy way for all players to get stones, which I think is really, really good. And yeah, Yamcha, you know, even with out the Pepe Girls is still a pretty cool unit and a pretty fun unit to run, uh, you know, for me. I think he's a pretty, could be a pretty cool, pretty interesting unit. We will obviously rainbow him uh, and take a look at him and review him and see like where he falls in the situation. But yeah, uh, for the most part, I think that's pretty much where he lies. And in terms of his, uh, well, kind of build and everything, just to run it through with you guys, uh, obviously, as you can see, we've completed all the missions with a little bit of a time skip. And yeah, we've uh, basically got everything we need for Yamcha. So I've got all 14 copies, as I mentioned before. Raised this SA to 10, which is fantastic. Uh, we're then going to awaken him, uh, which is obviously, yeah, super important then we're going to open up his hidden potential with four other copies of Yamcha which is going to be great and then after we've opened up those four copies uh, we'll train them and then Do can awaken them using the medals that we received from uh, farming the event so yeah pretty good stuff pretty straightforward I think most players should find this process pretty familiar if you have ever awakened or you know, worked on a free-to-play character before. So, shouldn't be an issue. And yeah, uh, if you guys have any problems, of course, you can leave a message down below and I'll help you in the comments. But otherwise, uh, we'll be doing a review on Yamcha, seeing how good he is at 100% and basically taking it from there. But that's going to be it for me. 
I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to collect all your rewards and to get all your stones from the event. Uh, there's nothing else really I would say that's notable to farm uh, from the event, but yeah, that's gonna be up to you. But that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care, stay safe and bye.